cool view I get from outside my workshop window. Get to see the kittens that are now turning into cats hang out and do stuff. Working on this wolf howling at the moon on an oak slab or oak slice or round, whatever people call it. Gonna stain it now. Just a slight change of plan. I um, didn't like some of this wood around the outside edge. I think they call it the sap wood where the sap flows through. This is the center. This is basically dead and it's hardwood. Heartwood they call it, it's hard. This sap wood, some of it was rotten on a little bit and I just went ahead and chunked it off with my hammer. And uh, I'll probably clean this up a little bit, sand it a little bit with the grinder, flap sander, and get some of this roughness off and then leave it. I just didn't want it to be something that would just fall and rot on the edge later. So I do want to either oil it or polyurethane it when I'm done. little guy. I think I'm going with brown. Brown down here, I think. Try it. I might need to cut it in first with another brush. Standing on. We got a green color here. I'm not sure. I want to go with the green. I want to do him dark, the silhouette. That's dark. Might leave this like this, and might paint this white. Wait, let me see. Yeah, I think that's it for trees. I think that'll do it for the trees. I want to get carried away. All right, I'm going with. Charcoalish black is the only thing I have. I don't have a pure black, and I think it's dark enough to do the wolf. I want the wolf to be totally silhouetted. Here it goes. I can do it without messing him up. Well, the urethane does put quite a bit of color on compared to that. So if you're thinking of using polyurethane on something, make sure you want it to turn a darker color, especially the knots and streaks. The grains will show up. If you want something a lot clearer, use the polyacrylic. 
and it's water-based. This is oil-based. You either got to clean the rag, I'm sorry, clean the brush with mineral spirits or chuck it out when you're done because it's going to be ruined. Poly acrylic's nice for doing stuff that you want to keep it more of the natural wood color. It doesn't color it much at all. The polyurethane sure does. I, I like the look, but if you don't want the extra color in something, don't use it. Almost done, and I can chuck this little brush. I actually might do the edges of this. I think it'll look nicer to have the edges finished a little. That vegetable oil is doing a good job for some of the stuff I've been doing. It colors it, gives it a little color. I like the look, and uh, polyurethane is somewhere around $50, $55 a gallon, and the vegetable oil is about eight. So this is literally liquid plastic, but um, the oil is doing kind of the same thing as kind of keeping it from cracking. So that's my main concern on most of my stuff is that it just doesn't crack because wood likes to split. And there we go. I think that came out good. I don't think I want to do the white paint on the wood. I just like that. I think that looks pretty good. I'll probably call this something like uh, Country Lullaby. We hear that all the time around here. Coyotes, yipping, occasionally howls. Not too many wolves around here, but there's a lot of coyotes. Got a generator going in the background. The sun's welding. All right, so I'm, on the back of this guy, I'm going to put something to put a screw in to hang it on a wall. All right. So there we go. Got my small dragon wood burning I did the other day on red cedar. And this is on a slice of oak, around a slice, a slab, whatever they call them. So there we go. It's my uh, country lullaby or mountain lullaby. Anyway, all done.